Alright guys, welcome back to Agrarian Skies. Now since the last episode, I've planted the wheat seeds that we got. And I've also got myself some potato seeds from sifting some dirt, or sieving some dirt. Which is one thing that you're going to have to be doing a lot of, a hell of a lot of, in this mod pack. And if you're, when you harvest your crops, you should basically, basically go up to them and right click. And that should leave the original seed planted and still harvest them for you. So now we've got some potatoes and a nice amount of wheat going. I've also got myself some sugarcane seeds and some grass seeds from uh, sifting dirt as well. So sifting dirt can give you a hell of a lot of stuff. And I'm actually going to plant some of these seeds right now. So where's my hoe? There it is. So I think we can only really plant these sugarcane. And I don't think they need to be hoed, to be honest. Do they need to be hoed? Uh probably has to be on sand it's not letting me plant that so speaking of sand let's uh, find out how to get that through a quest I've uh, checked out all the planks of these different types of wood pretty cool and I've also made a bunch of patterns because we're going to need them soon so agrarian skies this is what you have to do at the start basically you have to do a hell of a lot of grinding and it involves a lot of this ex -ni nihilo thing or nilo mod pack. It's pretty cool. It's, in fact, it's really cool. So you basically put uh, saplings or rotten flesh, string, wheat, loads of different stuff in this barrel to compost down into dirt. And then you take that dirt and you sift it down into stones. And you also have a chance of getting seeds and some other stuff from it. And there we go. We got some potato seeds from that. Pretty cool. And now once you've got a bunch of uh, stones, you can turn those into cobblestone. And we can take that cobblestone and hit it, hit it with the hammer, or break it with the hammer, that we made in an earlier episode, or in the first episode, as part of a quest. And that should turn into gravel. There we go, we've got gravel. And then if, then if we hit the gravel with the hammer, do the same thing, that should turn into sand. Pretty strange, but also pretty cool and then if we hit the sand that should turn into dust and that can also do some pretty cool stuff but for now I want to get myself three uh, three sand so that I can make some glass bottles and fill up those barrels outside full of water so let's get ourselves some some sand I might need more eventually well I will need a lot more eventually but three is good for now I've ground out enough cobble for a furnace over here and I've been cooking some stuff up. We got some charcoal and some cooked food. So let's throw that sand in the furnace. And let's actually make a few more bits of dust because we can use the dust to turn it uh turn the barrel full of water into clay, which is pretty cool. And then we can use that clay for loads of different stuff. So this is a pretty amazing mod pack. You can basically start with nothing but a few pieces of dirt and you can turn that dirt into cobble turn that into loads of different other stuff so actually I want to keep I want to keep this uh, gravel as gravel for now and let's turn that sand into dust so eventually we're going to be making machines and loads of other stuff which is pretty crazy so the gravel and sand and all different sorts of other stuff you can also put through this sifter or sieve and you can get some different stuff from that as well so let's put one thing in so what we get we get coal and some amber so wow pretty crazy from sifting gravel we get coal and amber and probably all sorts of other different stuff I'm gonna try and sleep quickly no well let's take that glass and let's make some glass bottles and we can use those to fill up our barrels. Now we can sleep. And then once we've got the barrel full of water, I'll show you what we can do then. So let's fill those up. And one glass bottle should be enough to fill up one barrel, which is pretty handy. I'm actually going to do one more, I think, because I might need a bit more clay. I've got a few more barrels set up around here. That's got dirt in it, that'll do. So let's put the dust in with the barrel and instantly turns into clay. Sweet. Let's get three more pieces. 
and then we'll just break that with our hand and turn it into clay balls. We could probably use clay blocks eventually, but for now, I'm going to turn the balls into uh, buckets and some all sorts of different stuff. So, quite a lot of this stuff that we've been doing is also part of a quest. So, we should probably check out the quests about now. Let's put that stuff in there. We actually want to start making a couple of buckets for now. So, just like you make an iron bucket, you can make an unfired clay bucket and cook it in the furnace to get a working bucket. So, we'll be sifting quite a lot more dirt. So, let's do a little bit more for now. Melon seeds we got there, that's going to be epic spruce seeds. This is a this is a good way of getting all sorts of different seeds. Mana beans, wow. Another mana bean. Pumpkin seeds, cool. So we should be able to get a farm started soon if we're not using all our dirt for blimmin' cobblestone. Once we can actually stop sifting it, rubber tree seeds, oh yes, that's going to be good as well. So, let's put some of that stuff away for now. <laughs> uh, that's enough stuff clogging up our inventory. We can also cook these um, silkworms for food pretty good. Uh, it doesn't do much, only half a hunger bar thing. So, let's, uh, I think we're going to sift up a few more things before we do this... Uh, quest because I know we're going to need them so I'm, I'm going to try and get two of everything here so two sand, two dust, two gravel and let's turn two of those into dust there we go and let's check our quest book so you should always read these quests. I haven't really been reading the first few because I kind of knew what to do. So the quest we're going to need to do is this one, be resourceful. So before you can get far in the process of gathering resources, you'll need to have a cobble gen. So a cobble generator is going to be needed pretty early game. Use hammers from Ex Nilio to Break cobble into gravel, gravel into sand, and sand into dust, which is what I've just showed you. We've got one of each of these, so we can actually manual submit this right now. Nice, and it will take one of each of those from our inventory, and we get to claim one of these rewards. I don't think I'll be needing too many lives just yet, so I think I'm going to pick one of these rewards, and we'll also get half a half as a standard reward anyway, so let's go for this reward bag. Nice, that'll do me, and right click to go back. And this is another quest we've just started on. We've got an unfired clay bucket, but I don't want to do that one just yet. I want to go back to the main page and do this first one of Hell's Kitchen, so cooking channel. Uh, this is the first quest of this tree line sort of thing. So you are starving. Yep. Perhaps better foods might last longer and fill you up faster. There are several cooking implements for processing raw ingredients into components that could be combined into better quality meals. Using a juicer, some apples will increase the amount of hunger recovered when eaten. So we already know this stuff from Magic Farm. And these are the three basic tier utensils, kitchen or cooking utens utensils that we're going to need. So a juicer, bakeware and mixing bowl. So let's find out how to make those. I know that we're going to need three smooth stone, there's our clay bucket there. So let's chuck three stone in there to cook. And let's actually check out how to make those. So the juicer, uh, where is it there? It's gonna require one smooth stone and a pressure plate, which is why I've got the three smooth stone cooking up. And the bakeware is gonna, oh, let me get rid of that. There we go. It's going to require eight bricks or eight glass. So, luckily, we've uh, we've got ten clay balls. 
So we can actually cook eight of these up as bricks and that should be enough for us to make the bakeware. Let's turn two of these smooth stone into a pressure plate and make the first one which is a juicer. Uh, I'm actually going to throw a little bit of this stuff away for now. Uh, that's all I can put in there. We're going to definitely need some more chests soon. And why not sieve some of these while we're here? We've got some Certus Quartz from that. That's pretty crazy. And some crushed gold ore. Let's try some gravel. Some more amber and probably some more coal. Oh, we've got some broken iron ore as well. Now, I'm going to need another chest, so... Oh, got planks. So let's make another chest quickly. And let's just chuck a bunch of that stuff in there that we just got. We're not going to need it just yet. And we got some limestone as well. That's going to be handy. Uh, pumpkin seeds. All of this. Just go in there for now. Oh, no, I'm going to need that pick of misfortune. Sweet. Hopefully that's a little bit better than the pick we've already got. <clears throat> Definitely does more damage. Durability seems better. And mining speed. Where's that? Mining speed 4. Mining speed. Yeah, it's a lot better pick. So actually switch those out and chuck that one away. We also got a loot bag. Oh, sweet. Leather armor. So protection five leather armor. Cool. That should be quite helpful. And what else did we need? I think it was a mixing bowl. So let's check that out. Three planks and a stick. That's easy. Uh, although I did just put my sticks away. So there we go, there's a mixing bowl and the clay should be done now. Let's turn that into bakeware. And we should be good to hand in this next quest. Sweet, and we should get four ingots from that. Juicing. Uh, we've got a secondary quest, which kind of sucks. Uh, a task, several cooking implements. What do we need for this? Why, why is it not letting me show... Oh, okay, we need 10 apple juice. Damn, son. I don't think I've got 10 apples. I don't think I've got any apples. Two apples. Meh. So, an apple usually gives you half a hunger bar. Uh, juice in it should give you a full one. I don't know if we have to make 10 apple juice or have, oh, we got to have 10 apple juice in our inventory and manual submit. That kind of sucks. Um, right, we're going to need apples. So let's take out this tree. We probably won't have any more trees grow just yet. And I'm running low on bone mill, to be honest. But I'm going to be doing a hell of a lot more grinding in between episodes. You can get pretty much every different kind of ore from sifting sand and gravel and dust and all those sorts of things. So it's definitely a good idea to do that. I've got another apple. Well, we basically we know how to make this uh, to do this next quest. We just have to wait for apples. So I'm going to hold off on that for now. Let's where the other apples go. Oh, I juiced them, didn't I? Stupid. Alright, let's juice those. Or that one. And we'll leave that quest for now. Let's actually sift some some more stuff. Because I know we can get a bunch of interesting stuff from that. So, dust. We need to sift a bit of that. Yeah. I think this should give us, like, pulverized stuff. There we go. Pulverized tin ore. And we didn't get anything from that one. So all types of ores, we can then obviously cook these in a furnace or a better type of furnace. Uh, what can we do with these broken ores? Okay, four of those makes a uh, lead ore gravel and smelt that for an ingot. Wow, that's pretty damn cool. Crushed, what does that do? Turns into sand and the sand makes an ingot as well. So that's pretty damn sweet. Limestone makes a bunch of stuff from mariculture. We'll get to that eventually. But for now, we just need to do more of this converting cobblestone 
into some stuff. Actually, we need to get onto a cobble generator pretty soon. So I think one of these quests actually is for a cobble generator. That's to make a sifter. I guess we could do that. That's going to be quite an easy quest. So let's do that right now. We should get a little bit of reward for it. So sifter. And that's a fishing net, which is string and sticks. Have I got string? I know I've got loads of string. There it is. So sticks in the corners. And string gives us four fishing nets. And one of those up there should give us a sifter. There we go. And now we should be able to turn that quest in. Take a look at it. Come on open there we go and let's pick one uh don't look don't look that one sweet so let's see what we got in our loot bag uh let's combine these quickly save save a bit of inventory space and let's open the bag oh my god some more wood I can't actually believe how much wood this thing's been giving me. Wow, and it's new type of wood as well. So, let's see what else we can plant. We're going to need to plant some melons pretty soon. Sugar cane we can't plant yet, and potatoes I've already got. So, we'll get to planting the melons soon. And let's see what else we can do. Let's get onto that. A uh, cobble generator task. So, which one was it? Melting stone, that was the one. So, we need to make an unfired crucible. Uh, let's actually read it. To get started processing the various materials on the map and eventually powering the many machines, you'll need lava. Lava is created by melting cobble in a crucible over a heat source. Torches, lava, and lit netherrack all work as heat sources. Cool. Uh, clay buckets can be created to move fluids. We already know that. A clay bucket will only be able to use lava once, basically, so it'll be destroyed if you try and move lava with it. So, we've got some maggot bait from that, which we can use to fish with this mariculture fishing rod. And we can also eat it, but we're not going to want to do that. That's nasty, so let's actually put that wood in there. And we can sift this rotten flesh on this mariculture sifter. And a bunch of different stuff to get bait. So there we chuck that in there and... Oh. It went straight in our inventory I think. Because we need to give that a storage upgrade. For it to be able to hold items. But for now we're just going to be doing some more... Grinding of the cobblestone. So I think it's probably best to hammer this into... The final component maybe dust to get the pulverized stuff because then we can turn that straight into one ingot maybe I guess we'll we'll sift all different types of things like dirt obviously to get cobble sift the gravel sift the sand see what different things we get from it it would make sense that the more the more work you put in hammering stuff uh, the better items you get out of it So that was all dust. I think we can probably upgrade this wooden hammer as well to a stone one. That might be a good idea. So let's check out what sort of hammers we can make. Sweet diamond, all different types of ones. Stone, two sticks, two cobble. Nice. We can manage that. And that should last a lot longer. Once this one's uh, dead. It should also work a bit quicker as well. So we've got 8 dust. Let's sift up all of this. We can actually just hold down the right click. It should be easier. And hopefully we get a bunch of cool stuff from it. Blaze powder I think I just saw. So let's do all this dust and then we'll check out what we've got. And then eventually we'll move on to some some new quests. 
and get some more apples and finish this one. So we got some pulverized copper, pulverized tin, pulverized silver, blaze powder, pulverized gold, certus quartz dust, and aluminium. Oh baby. We're getting some ores. And we're going to need somewhere to store it all. So in between episodes we're going to be finding somewhere to store all this stuff. I'll also need to make a little lake or something so that we can place these fishing fishing nets down and they should catch fish. But for now I'm just going to leave them in our chest. Let's check out what other quests we've got. Unless uh, any of these trees are grown. Wow, that tree's grown. Hello there. I'm going to need some more crooks, aren't I? And sticks. So let's make a few crooks. And let's try and take this beast of a tree out. I doubt we'll get some more apples. Well, I doubt we'll get enough apples. We're going to need seven more to complete this quest and then we can get four iron and the iron I'm going to use, or two of the iron at least, I'm going to use for shears because so we can actually clip the leaves a lot quicker than breaking them and turn those leaves into compost or turn those leaves into dirt and then turn that dirt into cobble and you know the drill, turn that into other stuff which makes other stuff and it's crazy and I love it and it's amazing. Oh my god, you guys should definitely check out this mod pack. It's a ton of fun. I mean, I never thought grinding all this stuff out could be so much fun, but it is. And I need to be careful that I don't fall off the edge here. That would not be a good idea. How many apples have we got so far? Just one. So that's going to be a job, a big job, to take down that tree. Uh, let's store a few of these crooks away for now. And let's check out... Hang on, where did I, where did I get that bone meal from? I have no idea. I think I must have got that from sifting something. Let's actually see if we can plant any more of these seeds. What have we got? Grass. Let's take the melons and try and plant them. I'm going to need some dirt for that. I'll probably need a whole bunch more bone meal as well. So melons are going to be good to make melon juice, just like we can make apple juice. And uh, let's harvest these while we're here. Oh, wrong button. And have we got our hoe with us? Yes, we have. So I think I'm going to put the melon. Uh, let's put it over here, actually. So seed goes there, and it should grow onto that patch. And let's bone meal it up to a fully grown one. Nice. And we could probably plant some more potatoes and stuff. Actually, I'll plant one more little potato crop down here. <clears throat> I'm going to reserve these for other stuff. I think we'll probably need sand to plant the sugar cane. Let's actually check. Or maybe it has to had to be uh, directly against water. That's probably why it didn't let me plant it. So let's uh, let's check it out here. Let's try and plant it there. No, it won't let me do that. Let's try it on untilled dirt. Ah, there we go. So it has to obviously has to be next to a source block of water like vanilla Minecraft. And I guess eventually, what is that? It's potatoes as well. So let's break that. Put another sugar cane here because sugar cane is going to be handy. And then we'll put we'll turn this into potatoes as well. So then we've got a nice amount of potatoes for food and melons and sugarcane and wheat and everything. And life is good in agrarian skies. And we need to do a whole bunch more grinding. I've got some more dirt here. So let's sift this up. See if we can get some more seeds as well as some more stones for cobble. Uh, let's see if we've got anything cool. I don't think we've got anything but stone. No, that kind of sucks. And I should probably save some of this dirt. What was that? Acorn. I'll have to check the uses of that. 
I'll probably save some of this dirt. Um, has no uses apparently. Okay, we'll find out what to do with that eventually. Uh, have we got a quarter heart? No, we haven't. I should probably have not combined those and just waited until we got the right enough, the right amount of stuff to combine them. So, what do we need? What do we need? We need to make that crucible thing. I didn't even look it up, did I? What a fool I am! Crucible, uh, unfired crucible is porcelain clay, which is clay and bone meal. So we're going to need more clay. We've got two, two bits there, that's not enough. Where's our bottles? There they are, and we're going to need some more dust, aren't we? So let's get a few more bits of dust. Let's actually try out our stone hammer a little bit faster. Alright, come on, one more for dust. Hopefully there's a way to automate this eventually. Uh, for now it's just going to have to be done manually, which kind of sucks, but... That's part of the game, it's part of the fun. So let's fill these barrels up, get a little bit more clay for us. There we go. Might as well chuck this extra bit of duff, dust through the sifter. Wow, we got redstone from that as well, sweet. And a little bit extra bone mill. So put those away. And let's break these clay blocks. How many porcelain clay was it? I think it was seven. Yeah, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Put the bone meal in. And a little bathtub shape. And we cook that to get a fired crucible. Then this we put a few, I think it's five pieces of pieces of cobblestone, and that should eventually turn into lava. It will take a long time, but it will eventually turn into lava. And I guess I'm gonna do this outside just in case it burns anything down. So let's put that down there. And five pieces of cobblestone, and that should eventually turn into lava, which we can pick up with our fired bucket. And make a cobblestone generator which I'll probably do down here I guess this is a nice little place to AFK I'll dig a bit of this out put a water source block and the lava source block make a little cobble generator and probably make a little farm down here maybe or maybe a storage bit but we definitely need to expand the farm because I'm getting hungry hungry I'm still hungry Let's eat some taters. And a good early food source, apart from juicing apples and melons, if you're lucky enough to get them, is obviously cooked potatoes and toast is a good one. If you've got enough wheat to make bread, you can then cook that to make toast, which is definitely better than bread. I think it does one and a half hunger, which is good stuff. We still need a bunch more apples to complete this quest. So, let's check out the book. I don't think there's... Oh, we can do that. What do we need now? Slab furnace. Damn you, I've already got a normal sl normal furnace. That's not fair. Now I need more cobble. Okay, I've got enough here. I think to make enough. There we go. We only need, we only need six for the slab furnace. So, slabs... Oh, no, we don't. We need eight. Stupid. We need, yeah, six cobble, eight slabs. Derp. And then we have a slab furnace. Well, at least we've got two places to cook now. And that we can also cook in as well. So, can we turn that in? Yes, we can. So, pick a reward. Which one? I'm going to go for this closest one. Claim reward. Sweet. Gotta love that sound. And we should have unlocked something new, maybe. No, there's nothing else connected to that, but... That's all good. 
we know what we're doing now. We can actually combine that for another life. So let's consume that. And we got another life. And let's open our reward bag. And that gave us another life as well. So, old shift. Rotten heart. Do not eat. <laughs> you troll jaded. You can't catch me out, right? That is going to make us lose a life, so I'm just going to throw that straight off. Actually, no. I'm going to leave it somewhere. Let's put it there, but we're definitely not going to eat that. <laughs> so, in between episodes, I'm going to be... Oh, no, we don't want to eat that. That's just going to fill up our saturation. In between episodes, I'll probably do a bit more grinding. Well, I will be doing a bit more grinding. That's all there is to Magic Fire or to agrarian skies at the start we need a bit of light there so grind 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 make some more uh, dirt which makes cobble you know the drill and hopefully we'll get some lava and we can make, make a cobble generator which will make things a hell of a lot easier because then all we need to do is stand there digging a block and we'll get cobble instead of sifting tons and tons of dirt and it should make life a lot easier but that's going to do it for this episode guys Thanks for watching, as always. Leave a comment, let me know whether I should continue this series. It's definitely quite fun, but it's quite a lot of grinding involved, so maybe uh, maybe it won't be uploaded too often every now and then, you know, maybe once a week or so. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.